Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Towns channel. My name is John Zimmerman and this is part two of my final day riding around in Amsterdam on November 14th, 2022. Enjoy. we go. And again, here's some of that overflow bike parking that we uh, were just looking at from the ferry. I suspect that uh, that very large indoor parking structure could help alleviate alleviate some of the pressure on this outdoor parking. Hi, Shadow. I love sunny days, especially on a chilly morning. You get to see your shadow. Yes, occasionally you get to an intersection where motor vehicles have priority. I think that's bullshit. But it is what it is. Again, if you prioritize the movement of motor vehicles, that's exactly what you get is more motor vehicles. That's exactly what a city does not need, is more motor vehicles. All right, just like that, very short little journey, and here we are in the Amsterdam that we all know and love. The canals, the narrow streets, the bridges, the people, the barking dogs. Wait. Barking dogs part of it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's just go with it. Oh man, looks like they're all decorated for the holidays here too. The lights up above the street. You'll notice the design of the street with some pretty aggressive traffic calming at designated areas for pedestrians to be able to cross. But as you can tell, there's very, very few cars, one or two here and there. And again, this is what a city can be, could be, should be, must be. You can move thousands more people. Just imagine if everybody you see in frame here was in a single occupancy motor vehicle. Yeah, you'd have a mess. Just imagine if every single one of those bikes 
was a single occupancy vehicle that had been parked. You'd have a mess. Don't know if you noticed, but that uh, little car back there, that was not a single occupancy motor vehicle. That tiny little thing had two people tucked away in it. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Gotta love it. Finally have a noisy motor vehicle. We've got our green light. Okay, it's about uh, noon and I'm heading my way to the restaurant to meet up with Meredith and Jason, both uh, past guests on the podcast, and you'll notice that we're on a uh, sort of a busy road here in the city. This is one of the ring roads that uh, carries a lot of motor vehicle traffic very slowly though, which is kind of nice, and uh, this gives us a this little bike lane here, but it's not a protected bikeway. Probably not the most comfortable of routes. But it looks like we may be in for a little bit of construction. Maybe that'll eliminate some of the uh, the cars. And you'll notice that uh, we transition into protected bit of infrastructure here. I suspect that we'll actually, on this 15 minute bike ride, be able to see quite a few different types of uh, bicycle infrastructure. This is an older paver bike lane certainly not the smoothest, not best practice for current design. It is parking protected, which is nice. There's some fall colors. I apologize if the video is a little shaky. It's mostly a function of how rough this road is. I really do love the fact that the Dutch are uh, pushing to use the red asphalt, that baby smooth surface. It sure makes for some nice video. Looks like we've got a little segment here through the intersection which will be a relief. Nice and welcome. You can see a 30 kilometer per hour school zone here. A whole bunch of bike parking. Red asphalt transitioning to the bricks, the pavers. <laughs> the bone jarring once again. It's pretty much that philosophy that uh, 
you know, really kind of exemplifies that no, the Dutch system is not complete, it's not perfect, and there's still a lot of work yet to be done. Looks like there is some uh, construction up that direction. And just as soon as the tram clears, we get our green light. We go. We have a little bit of construction. And just like elsewhere in the world, where there is construction, inevitably there are people who block the bike lane. And yes, in case you're wondering, the doors of these motor vehicles do fling open at into the bike lanes and you run the risk of getting doored even here in the Netherlands. There's a lot of uh, attention paid to the quote-unquote Dutch reach looking over their shoulder before they fling the door open. As you'll notice, that did not happen with that worker. He simply flung it open. He did not notice that I was right there. But as a paranoid North American, I tried to stay out of the door zone and hence was fine. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. Hey, special thank you also to um, all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel. I really could not do this without you. I'll be back next week with the final episode before meeting up with Meredith and Jason for lunch. And until then, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Cheers.